Hey everyone, it's Miss Garcia. I wanted to show you how to set up um, an APA paper in both the desktop Word and OneDrive Word and also Google Docs. So let's get started. So for the desktop Word, you're going to click on the Word icon and select a blank document. All right. So before we do anything, I always like to set up my headers. Now remember in APA, um, your header is just going to be the page number starting on the title page. So remember that APA has a title page and then it's you start typing your text on page two. So let's set that up. So first things first, I want to access my header. There's two different ways I can do that. I can either double click up at the top and it'll say header or I can go to insert header, header, and then edit header. Okay, so my page number does need to be um, right aligned. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right alignment. I wanna make sure that this is changed to Times New Roman 12. And then I'm gonna go ahead and insert a page number. Now please do not type one. Um, if you type one, it's gonna show one on every single page. You want to make sure to be adding the actual page number. You'll click page number. And the great thing about it is it's automatically defaulted to right alignment. So you'll just click um, insert and it'll do that. Okay. Now to get out of the header, you can just click on any part of the document. Now we are at the very first line of the document. Now remember this is the title page. So what you're gonna wanna do is first thing is you're going to change your spacing to 2.0. Now again, you wanna remember that that 2.0 needs to be zero before and zero after. And the way you can check that, there's two different ways. You can either click on the line spacing options and it'll show it here and it shows double. Or you can go to format, paragraph, and it'll also bring up that same window. Okay, so it looks like our spacing is perfect. We also need to make sure that we change our um, font to Times New Roman. 12 or Georgia 12. I tend to like Times New Roman, it's just simpler and it is easier for me to flip back and forth um, between the two different formats. All right, so unlike MLA, we don't just put our heading here, we are going to have an actual title page. So we also need to go ahead and center our cursor and then hit enter twice. Then we're going to go ahead and put our title, but in APA, you're going to bold your title. So title page, it can be as long as you need it to be. Um, APA titles tend to be a little bit longer because they are based on more research. Then you're gonna hit enter twice. And then you're gonna turn off the bold. You're gonna leave it centered. And then you're gonna go ahead and put your name. Then it's your school affiliation. So we go to Ellison High School. So we're gonna go ahead and put Ellison High School. You're gonna go ahead and put the course name, which is English two. And I tend to ask my students to go ahead and put their period number. This is where you're going to put your teacher's name. So Ms. Garcia, and then hit enter again. Notice it's all double spaced and it's all plain text. It is not bolded or it should not be bolded. And then you're gonna go ahead and put your date. And that date is going to be the day, the month, and then the year. Once you finish your date, you need to hit enter and you're going to insert a page break. So the best way to do that is go to layout, page breaks, and page break. That automatically puts you on the second page. Notice that your header does show number two, so you're on page number two. It is still centered, which is good because we're gonna go ahead and retype our title, making sure that it is Times New Roman 12, and we're going to bold it again. And so we'll just put our title here and hit enter. Once we hit enter, we wanna take off the bold and click left align. And then we're going to tab, and we're going to start typing, okay? So in APA, for most students, you will not have different level headers. But if you do have different level headers, know that the first level is your actual title. Level two would be left aligned and bolded. So level two, you would hit enter 
unbold, tab, and start typing. And then if we have a level three, which is a subsection, we would again hit enter. We're going to bold and italicize this one. And this is considered level three. You would hit enter, turn both the italics and bold off, tab and start typing. So that's the basics for the desktop Word document. Pretty simple. Um, you do wanna make sure that you are saving your document. You can do that two different ways. You can click Save under File, or you can click the Save icon. Again, always be sure to figure out where you're sending it. I have a lot of students that tend to lose documents because they're not sure where they are, they're at, and honestly, there's a lot of adults that do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this Test APA Paper. and then you hit save. Now, in desktop Word, um, some will automatically save, some will not. So I just make it a habit to always click the save button as I'm working so I don't lose anything. So that was the desktop Word. But a lot of you use um, OneDrive Word and also Google Docs. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So let's start off with Microsoft OneDrive. We're gonna go ahead and click the Word icon and we're gonna do a new blank document. Okay, I always start off with my headers, so um, that's kind of how I'm gonna show you. So to actually get in the header here, you would actually go to Insert. Click Header and Footer, and it'll bring up these little three sections, okay? There's your header and there's your footer. So for this one, you're gonna click in the most right panel, and it's already right aligned. And then again, we're just going to insert a page number. So we're gonna go here to page numbers and we're gonna select the right aligned one, okay? Once we do that, we can go ahead and click out of it. Um, in OneDrive, it doesn't show you your headers like the desktop word, but you can always click on header and it'll show it to you again. And then it places us back on the first line of text. So we're gonna go back to home. We're gonna make sure our font is either Times New Roman 12 or Georgia 12. We are going to want to center the text because remember, APA starts off with the title page. So this is gonna be our title page. Okay, and then we need to go to our spacing. To get to spacing, you're gonna hit these three little lines here and it says line spacing. Now, you can click two, but when it comes to OneDrive, it tends to default to a different type of spacing. So let's go ahead and look at our line spacing options. Notice here that before is correct, it says zero points, but after it says eight points, you go ahead and go ahead and bring that down to zero and hit okay. And now your spacing will be correct. So we're gonna hit enter twice. We're gonna bold and we're gonna put our title. We're gonna hit enter twice. We're gonna unbold. We're going to put your name, your affiliation, your course, and again, I like to also add the period so that it makes it easier, your teacher's name, and then the date where it is day, then the month, then the year. We're going to hit enter, and to insert a page break for this one, we're going to go ahead to insert and page break. So notice that it does show us the page break. It does look a little strange, but I promise you that it will be two separate pages. Okay. So now what we're going to do is leave this center aligned and we're going to bold again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're going to go to home. We're going to go to bold and we're going to put our title and hit enter. Then we're going to go back to left aligned unbold and tab and we'll start typing okay now notice that that's dark you will notice the difference between bold and not bold so what you can do in OneDrive is if you highlight it a little menu box will automatically pop up and you can just unbold it and then you can continue typing 
Luckily, uh, OneDrive, when it comes to the level headers, it'll be the same thing. You'll just follow the same pattern. Level two will be left aligned. I mean, yes, left aligned with bold, and then level three uh, heading is going to be left aligned, bold, and italicized. To save these documents, you're going to click up here. You'll go ahead and put in your title. So I'm going to put test APA paper. And notice that the location is saving it to my uh, OneDrive under documents. The good thing about OneDrive is it will continuously um, update and save, and so you don't have to hit save continuously. Another cool thing with OneDrive is you can actually open it in the desktop application. You would just click this button here under editing and it will pop open in the actual desktop word, um, which is what I prefer because it's just easier to do that way. So that is how you set it up in OneDrive. Let's take a look at Google Docs. So for Google Docs, you're going to go ahead and go to Google and you're going to go ahead and open Google Docs. You're going to select a blank page. All right, so again, the first thing I like to do is always set my headers. So I'm going to go ahead and insert. And it says headers and footers, and I'm going to select header. For this one, I want to go ahead and make sure that it is under Times New Roman or Georgia, 12 font. And I'm going to go ahead and do right align. And then I'm going to go to insert, page numbers. And the one that I'm going to select is this one right here because I do want it to continue onto the second page and third page, fourth page. Remember, do not just type in a one because it's going to repeat that one through every single page. So go ahead and select that and we see it in there. And what's nice about APA is that's all we need. And so now once we're out of it, I can click anywhere in the document and it'll take me out of the header. And I can see my header up here. I see that right now I'm still left aligned. I'm going to go ahead and go to center. And remember, I do need it to be double spaced. So let's go ahead and go to spacing, which is this little icon right here. And you're going to go to double. The good thing about um, Google Docs is not only does it have a default of one inch margins all the way around, so I don't have to check my margins. Um, the really good thing is that it will just do plain double space with no extra spacing. So once I have it, on the first line, double spaced, I'm going to hit enter twice. And I'm going to make sure that my font is Times New Roman 12, okay, or Georgia 12. Then I'm going to go ahead and select bold and type my title and hit enter twice. I'm going to unbold. I'm going to put my name. I'm going to put my school affiliation the class, and again, I like my students to put the period, the teacher's name, and then the date where it's the day, the month, and then the year. Remember to hit enter, and we're going to insert a page break. Okay, so we're going to go to insert. And we're going to go to break, page break. That starts us on number two. We see right here our header is showing us that is page two. It is still centered. We're going to want to bold again. I always check to make sure that it's still default times new Roman 12. And I'm going to put my title again and hit enter. Unbold. Left align. Hit tab and start typing. Okay, and again, the same rules apply when it comes to the different headings. So a level one, which is your title, will be centered and bolded. Level two will be left aligned with bold, and level three will be left aligned, bold, and italicized. And as you continue to go, um, you will notice that your uh, headers will change the page numbers. So that's it. That is how you set up an APA paper in Desktop Word, OneDrive Word, and Google Docs. Hopefully this helps you, but if you have any questions, please let me know.